This video is brought to you by Broadcast Brazil. Webcast, broadcast and mobile. Hi there and welcome back to Broadcast Brazil. Today a short video explaining you how to use vector-based graphics in Motion 5, exporting them as PDF files. In this example, I'm going to use the Broadcast Brazil logo and I opened it in Illustrator already in the size that I'm going to use it finally in Motion 5. So just go to Save As and select Adobe PDF. Select high quality print so you get the best quality possible and there's no need to leave preserve illustrator editing capabilities selected, you can deselect it. So now let's go to motion, we're at the project browser and for now we'll just select the motion project, although you can also choose a final cut effect or a generator. Let's put the duration at 5 seconds because that's more than enough for what we need to do. Let's set our preview to fit, resolution full and quality best, so we have a good idea about how it's going to look. Let's just draw a white rectangle as the background, which works the best for our logo. Let's select the media tab and on the bottom of that we click the plus sign so we can select our PDF file. And just check also how small our PDF file is. In the top left part of the inspector you can see the logo and all the black around it, meaning it is transparent. Yes, that's the good thing about exporting your factor work. If you don't have a background and you export it, PDF will use transparency which is exactly what we need in a program like Motion. Make sure you have now the PDF selected, then click on the Inspector tab. In that tab, click on the Media tab. There you will see a checkbox with Fixed Resolution, deselect it. This makes sure you can scale it to whatever size you want using the vector capabilities. And now just drag it in your project timeline. There we go, our Broadcast Brazil logo nice in the middle, looking very good. Let's click on the record button to do some animation. With our PDF selected in the timeline, we click on properties and let's scale it up. Let's scale it to 4000% and we'll drag it around a little bit so I can have a nice starting point. This looks about right, nice. You can see that the line looks really crisp, really sharp, perfect. Imagine amplifying a PNG to 4000% and what it would look like. Now we go to around 3 seconds and put it back to 100% and centralized in the middle. Now let's go to Mark, RAM Preview and Play Range so we can render it. This can take some time. Let's go back to the beginning of the timeline and press play so we can see the final result. So that's an easy way to use vector files, scalable vector files, working really nice in motion. If you have any doubts, questions or want to comment, feel free and well, hopefully we can help you out with something. See you next time. <laughs>